एक रिसर्च एनालिस्ट जो कि पूरा दिन एक रिसर्च करने में लगा रहा है उसका तो क्या उसको आधा दिन लगेगा रिसर्च करने में वेन यू आर इन योर मिड फोर्टीज फिफ्टी इज हाउ डिफिकल्ट इट इज टू सडनली स्विच डाउन योर प्रोफेशन की पर्सन हु डजेंट स्टे अपडेटेड लैक्स बिहाइंड एट इज एक्सेप्टेड बाई सोसाइटी आई थिंक इट्स रिड्यूसिंग द जॉब्स ए आई इज नॉट डिस्ट्रॉइंग जॉब्स इट्स क्रिएटिंग जॉब्स ओके एट सम पॉइंट आई टोटली एग्री बट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट लैक्स क्रिएटिविटी मैं हूं अथर योर होस्ट रेफरी और थोड़ा ओकेशनल पीस कीपर एंड टुडे वी हैव गॉट टू फायरी टीम्स रेडी टू बैटल इट आउट ऑन टीम वन वी हैव गॉट अब है ख्याति एंड भविष्य बिलीवर्स इन द ए आई वे एंड ऑन टीम टू वी हैव सोहम अनिश्का एंड साहिल हियर टू से स्लो डाउन बिफोर द बॉस से राउंड वन सबको मिलेगा इक्वल चांस ना पॉइंट रखने राउंड टू काउंटर अटैक रिब्यूटल और थोड़ा सा कंट्रोल किया सो so, अपनी कुर्सी की पेटियां बांध लीजिए क्योंकि ये AI का डिबेट होने वाला है थोड़ा लॉजिकल थोड़ा टेक्निकल और फुल ऑफ फन वी आर लिविंग इन एज वे आर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज नो लॉन्गर जस्ट अ टूल इट्स बिकमिंग अ डिसीजन मेकर फ्रॉम मशीन लर्निंग टू न्यूरल नेटवर्क वी आर लेटिंग इन गॉरिजम शेप आर थॉट एज ह्यूम वी हैव ऑलवेज ट्राइड टू मेक लाइफ इजियर बाय ऑटोमेटिंग टास्क ए आई इज इन जस्ट अ टूल फॉर स्पीड एंड कन्वीनियंस इट्स बिकमिंग साइलेंट पार्टनर इन सॉल्विंग सम ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज बिगेस्ट चैलेंजेस आई एम हियर टूडे नॉट टू डिनाई द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ ए आई बट टू चार challenge the blind fate we are asked to place in it. yes ai is a powerful tool but let's not forget it's just that a tool it doesn't think like us it doesn't feel and it certainly doesn't understand emotion we shouldn't fear it but we must question it artificial intelligence promises convenience speed and efficiency but at what cost i stand against its growing dominance because it encourages dependence dull originality and undermines the effort of human value i stand in favor of artificial intelligence a transformative tool that has brought a revolution never brought before from better healthcare diagnosis to self driving cars from smart learning to efficient farming it is not just the future but it has already transformed the present i stand in firm support of artificial intelligence not just as a technological innovation but as a revolutionary force that's transforming every aspect of human life from healthcare to education from disaster prediction to personal convenience ai isn't replacing us it's enhancing us it's not a threat it's a tool and like every tool its impact depends on how we use it so so hum you mentioned that ai is weakening human abilities but in reality is just refining it just like a calculator doesn't make us worse at math it actually makes us better in much way ai helps us to do deeper calculations and solve deeper problems in reality bhavish at some point i totally agree but you should understand that it lacks creativity i don't think a point will come where human brains will be considered something more important than ai i think ai should be used but not misused so as you pointed out that ai is killing creativity it is not asking you to copy or something it is not asking you to cheat it is there to help me you said that it's our choice right human mind is made a certain way that it chooses the path of least resistance what happens is that if you have an option that is easier than the one that you are currently doing you will have to go for that and most people do theek hai having a tool is your choice that you use that tool in whatever manner you want it to use it's your choice you want to use it to do something good it's your choice but then why are 90% of the people dependent on ai i think it's reducing the jobs what about the future like Like, don't you really think that at one point when we will get placed most of the jobs that humans used to rely on each other it will be totally vanished off ai was made to reduce the repetitive tasks that you do that are not very fruitful for your learning but teachers are started using it for the tasks that are creative and those who need innovation so we need to teach people and educate them about the use of ai I ask you one thing why google why amazon why all fang and mang companies they are giving a mass layoff why the owners why the ceos of the company are saying 45% of the work that is being done in google or big companies it will be done by ai ai is not destroying jobs it's creating jobs okay a person who doesn't use suppose chat gpt to do something that he has to do 10000 times he'll take 10 hours right but a person who uses chat gpt he can do it in 10 minutes and then use the remaining time to do something more productive and obviously that person should get the job okay but what about a person jiska profession hi wahi hai ek research analyst jo ki pura din ek research karne mein laga raha hai uska kya hoga usko aadha din lagega research karne mein usko research karne ke liye utna time lagega hi nahi kyunki wo data sets us hisab se trained hai ki wo particular data mein dekhega when internet came out a lot of people said that a lot of jobs will be lost 
but we saw a huge growth in jobs opportunity in the IT sector. So now when AI is growing, we will see new opportunities in AI sector also. Plus people would have a lot more time to do more creative stuff, right? AI wasn't just built on its own. It took time, it but took efforts. In, when you are in your mid 40s, 50s, how difficult it is to suddenly switch down your profession. How can you compare a person who is regulating his family uh, to totally switch his career just because AI is taking his job? Staying updated is always necessary. A person who doesn't stay updated lacks behind and isn't accepted by society. Consider countries like China. They know how developed they are. That's why AI is regulated in a good way. But what about countries like India where people still lack literacy, people still lack basic education rights. How can AI totally replace it? You're talking about literacy. Come on. AI is helping increase literacy. But AI is same way as even disrupting the industry. In remote areas, AI is helping uh, young kids to understand things without even going to the uh, schools or colleges. They, if they can't afford fees for that, they can just search That was the first point. I physical AI. touch, a physical touch, a physical But if they can't afford it, if, what if they can't afford it? If it's not accessible, that is the government and to be blamed on. No, you can't blame We are just solving. But we are not just ignore the government. Words. We are not against the government here. We are just talking about AI and how it's helpful or not. I think and then uh, AI need regulations. Like see. I do not agree on the current model. AI needs regulation, but it doesn't mean that you should ban AI and remove it for it. I'll just conclude by saying that you might be right, but even I'm not wrong. What I want to say is AI can be revolutionized. I think there are certain ways in which we have to make changes in how AI has been regulated, how we are using AI, and I think we should definitely work on that. Okay, I would not disagree to you. I would just like to extend your point to that AI, everybody on this planet is not evil. There are good people, there are bad people. Definitely stuff is used for bad stuff and good stuff, but you can't just unsee what are the good aspects of AI. It's helping people everywhere from healthcare to tasks which are requiring very much precision to personalization but uh, people using it in a bad way definitely will create chaos. So let me be clear and remind you all that the fight is not between human and AI. It's human and AI versus the problems of the world that we can solve together. So we should use AI ethically I we all can work upon that to meet the world a better place. After making AI because we are still budding we've not gotten there and this is very new to us, to everybody. It's just been a few years, right? Uh, so what I'm saying is that by the time we understand it, before it becomes something that the nukes had become, I want everybody to understand it and regulate it, make, th make the things that it's doing wrong, right? Well, I think that it's all about the perspectives. From the beginning of human civilization, when the first fire was created, everyone thought that fire is a bad thing. The human civilization will still keep going on and on and on and on and keep developing new technologies. Both teams brought serious brain power to the table. But remember, this debate wasn't just about winning. AI is not good, not bad. It's just powerful. And how we use that power is completely up to us. I just want to say that AI is not scared. It's wrong, sir.